turns out both Sydney and Edinburgh each have a Castle Hill. But whereas Sydney's Castle Hill is known for its shopping centre, Castle Towers, Edinburgh's Castle Hill has an actual castle. And right there is St Margaret's Chapel, the oldest part of Edinburgh Castle. It's over 800 years old, and right next to the newest part, the War Memorial. It was built about 100 years ago to commemorate the First World War. So Edinburgh Castle is actually built on the top of a former volcano. It has some of the best views of Edinburgh. I'm going to try and show you some of them from as many different angles as I can. Now about to go into Scotland's National War Museum and in the courtyard just outside the front we've got Field Marshal Haig. For those of you who know your World War I history, very controversial figure. In the 19th century, Queen Victoria took an interest in all things Scottish, including the kilt. Uh, as a result, and particularly also having an interest in Scottish men, she requested that the kilts of the soldiers be shortened a little bit. And so, instead of being worn below the knee, they would now be worn above the knee. You can see this in the Robert Gibb painting, The Thin Red Line, which depicts the Scottish soldiers during the Crimean War of the mid-19th century and in it you can definitely see a little bit more leg of those Scottish soldiers than would be normal. How scandalous! So although Edinburgh Castle is a military installation it does have a palace in here. It's very small, just a couple of rooms but the kings and queens of Britain really haven't stayed here very much for the last 500 years. They tend to go to Holyrood uh, palace just on the other side of Edinburgh. Still, it is quite a nice palace, even if it's a small one. Finishing up here at the peak of Edinburgh Castle to check out the Scottish crown jewels right in here, including the Stone of Destiny, which was only returned to Edinburgh Castle in 1996. So I managed to make it in to see the crown jewels, but no cameras are allowed. However, for your sake, I did manage to do a couple of sketches. So, right here, you can see uh, my best sketch of the crown jewels, the, the crown that the kings of Scotland were uh, had put on their head. And then on the other side is the Stone of Destiny. Drawn really badly, you can barely see it. It's basically just a rock, not, not that exciting. I'm gonna uh, head out of here now and hopefully show you how steep and high up this really is by walking out of here.